Yeah. Also tonight, there are reports of looting in downtown Cleveland. Pretending to be angels, doing the devil work for keeps Cause it's pain, mean, profit, every black person got it Cut the cloth, made of blood, money to line your hey, pocket that's a shadow, behind the shadow Pussy for control, do we what you saw Living in the shadow disappointed for several reasons. One, uh, having been a native of you know, native Clevelander and been active all my since my teenage years, uh, having served in public office and trying to be an example and a role model for young men and helping, uh, you know, serving on boards like the NAACP and United Way, et cetera, for years. It's all about building up and making things better, making people better. And this really was disturbing for me and very troubling for we, clergy, had all decided to go and peacefully protest in the spirit of Dr. Martin Luther King and stand downtown there uh, in solidarity with other protesters peacefully demonstrated. And when I saw that, um, I couldn't help but be dis. I was just disappointed with the fact that this was so far from what we had planned and what was expected. Clergy were going to be there to be supportive. And 
it got so bad that clergy had to be uh, guided off and protected by police and directed off and could not continue with the peaceful protest. This is more about a, a political, uh, theoretical, philosophical ideologies uh, than it is about a cause. And what this today, what people do, they take legitimate concerns of inequities, disparities, um, lack of justice, and, 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 and all these other kind of things, and they, they frame it into their agenda, which is more about promoting their, their political ideology or philosophical point of view, as opposed to really helping people. That's the difference I see. And, and, and in that, you have embedded in that this whole notion of um, uh, uh, anarchy, so to speak, where, um, where you can't fix something because it's unfixable. You need to just tear it up and start over again. And so part of it is, is the, uh, the agenda is just to tear it up. And if it means that getting people to tear it up is to bring a legitimate cause to bear for people to get uh, aroused to the point that they'll do that, then they'll do it. That, but but then but then uh, there's not there's no follow up to it. There's no um, there's no clear objective to it in in, in terms of just protesting or in terms of just uh, uh, having a riot. Is for what reason? What what purpose? And then you go home. ton of demonstrations in this town uh, over the, in the last four or five years. And we always invite people to the table. You know, you're going to get out here and demonstrate for four or five hours in the cold, in the rain, you know, in the hot Cleveland summer. All right, we hear what you're saying. All right, now how do we fix this? Let's sit down at the table. And we have had very few offers or very few people take us up on those offers to come in and actually sit down and say, this is what we're looking for. I know people want change and people want change like yesterday. Um, but unfortunately in the real world, it doesn't happen that way. So we've invited folks, all right, you, you know, and I don't want to mention a specific organization, but we've talked to organizations out there that had platforms and, you know, we want policing to do these 10 things. And, and this was at the height of this, like I say, in 2014, 15, 16. And some of those groups that we sat down with, we said, well, I don't know about policing across the country, but here in the city of Cleveland, we're already doing eight of those things that you want us to do. And again, inviting those folks to sit down and talk, you know, doesn't really do a whole lot. And if people are out there, again, in the cold, in the rain, in the heat of a July Cleveland summer, protesting and marching for hours, then let's get something out of it. Let's sit down together, now that you've done this, and see what exactly can we get done out of this. And, and it raises the it. question whether or not you really want it fixed or you want the noise. Or you, yeah, you want the excuse to make the noise. Right. And so what we do is we go about attempting to make the fix. Right. We call in, in, uh, in uh, the Department of Justice in for a consent decree. And we establish in that consent decree, uh, uh, re reach a settlement agreement, establish within this consent decree parameters by which people, police officers are supposed to conduct themselves, do intensive training. We, we create a more diverse police force with recruiting so that we have people coming in more reflective of the community. We look at uh, people with urban experience as opposed to suburban or rural experience and who have who understand the nature of urban policing and the culture of urban policing, all that. So we, we're going about doing these things. We're going about trying to put these things. But um, the group that he's, the groups he's talking about, they don't hear that. Again, we we uh, fully recognize that uh, that uh, America has a long way to go, a long way to go. And, but we also fully recognize that uh, 
that people will take advantage of uh, situations and exploit those situations and exploit people for their own benefit on all sides. Cause if fame mean profit, every black person got it Cut the cloth, made of blood, money to line your hey, pocket that's a shadow Behind the shadow Fancy for a draw, you be what you saw Living in the shadow 